So today's video we are going to talk about breaking cycles. And I'm going to help you guys understand how do you know, how do you tell some of the signs you will see that will show you that you have come to the end of a cycle. So the cycles can come in so many shapes, so many forms. These could be generational cycles that have been actually destroying a lot of uh, your families, family members. This could be cycles of abuse, this could be cycles of addictions, this could be cycles of... Uh, so the cycles come in, but, but um, you're going to realize that whichever cycle you have been dealing with, it has been stopping you and preventing you from living your highest potential, so, so from becoming your highest version and living life to your highest potential. So it has been keeping you stuck in some kind of a bubble whereby you felt like you were trapped in that system and you couldn't get out but for some reason you have awakened to this cycle and you have broken out of it and you have decided to put in the work to work on yourself and then eventually you've cleaned yourself and you've cleared your energy of that cycle and that cycle is never coming back in your life now for the generational curse breakers that will be a different video next time when we talk and this is a video that is going to relate to a lot of guys who are going through a lot of challenges. So you're going through something, you don't understand what is happening to you. I'll share with you guys some of the things that have also been a part of my journey. When you're coming to an end of a, when you're coming to an end of a cycle, first of all, even before we go there, me personally, I acknowledge the, the cycle of narcissistic abuse. I became aware of it. I wasn't aware of it before, so finally I became aware of it. I didn't know that what was happening to me. I didn't know why I used to attract a certain type of people, you know, a certain type of, especially when it came to maybe friendships or relationships. I used to attract a certain category of individuals. I would I would be like skipping from one to another one, and I didn't know what exa what, what exactly was going on. But I came to that awareness, and I started breaking out of that cycle. So that was the cycle of narcissistic abuse. I've been working on myself and I've done the work for the, for the last three years. That's the reason why, why I'm sharing to you this thing because you guys can understand where you are in your journey. You know what I mean? You may want to find out where you are. You may want to know where you are in your journey and how far yet do you need to go. Now, first of all, when you start the process or the habit of breaking a cycle, the first thing what will happen is that you are going to stop. You are going to make a conscious de decision to stop. Me personally, I did a, con a conscious decision to stop dating. I wanted to find out where were these people coming from? Why was I attracting these kind of individuals? I was very desperate to find out about those kind of individuals that I was attracting for relationships. So I took a conscious decision to stop. Then I had to sit down with myself and start to, to verify, to under, analyze the whole, this whole situation and to understand where was I coming from, first of all, and where was I going. So most of the times when you're starting these kind of cycles, the breaking the cycles, you will stop. First of all, you're going to stop. So when you stop, you're going to go through a process of um, trying very hard to work on yourself, to find yourself. You know what I mean? You're going to go and dig within and try to find yourself. Do, do a lot of, they call it soul searching. So you're going to do a lot of soul searching whereby you're going to really try to find yourself, your authentic self. Because these cycles, they are also things that actually drag you very far away from your authentic self. So you're going to try very hard to do a lot of soul searching and discover who you really are without the cycles. Now at some point in time, there will come a time when you will... Um, you will start to experience loneliness. So when you're breaking out of a cycle, first of all, you have to know that you go through a very long, a long period of soul searching. So that most of the time, that period, you're alone. You're deciding not to date. You're not uh, relating too much with family. You're not calling anyone. You're just sit down by, sitting down by yourself and working on yourself. So that is one of the signs that actually you're breaking out of a cycle. You know what I mean? It is one of the biggest signs that you're breaking out or you've started breaking out of a cycle is when you're spending a lot of time alone. You're doing the inner work. So that alone time is giving you a chance to do the inner work. You know what I mean? You are now start, starting to realize 
where have you been going wrong all these years? What haven't you what haven't you been doing right? You're sitting down yourself and you're asking all, all yourself all these questions, and at the same time, you're seeking the answers from within. But what is going to show you the major sign, biggest sign that you're ending a cycle is when you're going to have those cycles that you've been running from, for example, you've been running from the narcissists. Let me give you an example. You've been running from narcissists and you've been doing a lot of inner work. You know what I mean? You've worked on yourself. You've been raising your vibration. You've been earthing. You've been grounding. You've been eating well. You've been doing, you know, you've been doing all these kind of spiritual practices, whatever you can do to break out of a cycle. What will happen is that now you are, you are continuously going to be bombarded by those same cycles that you're running from. Now, I want you guys to listen very closely to this one. The reason why you're being bombarded by the same cycles that you've been running, for example, you may, you, you may be a person who is trying to break the cycle of drug abuse. Let's say, for example, you've been a drug, a, a, a drug addict at some point. You've been using drugs or these hard drugs and whatever. So you've been working on yourself for a year. Maybe you've been in rehab or you've been uh, by yourself for a year or two, whatever. You've been working on yourself, doing the inner work. That moment is going to come when you are going to continuously be bombarded by those same cycles that you're trying to break. So a lot of people are going to come out of the closet and they are going to start testing you. So you're going to see a lot of these narcissists. For example, if you've been breaking out of narcissistic abuse and you've been trying to be free from narcissists, you're breaking that cycle of narcissistic abuse. They are going to start coming out of the closet and they are going to tempt you to go on debt. Then you'll be sitting somewhere and thinking that I've been trying to break away from these people. Actually, you've broken away from, you've broken away from these individuals for a while, for a long period of time. And then after two years, here you are meeting the next narcissist and it's like that particular narcissist is asking you that you should go on a date or you should start dating or this and this and they are trying to show some kind of an interest in you. When you recognize that event whereby those particular things you have been trying to break away from, they are starting to show up in your life. That is the biggest sign that you're coming to the end of breaking a cycle. So you are at the verge of breaking out of a cycle. You know what I mean? So these are like tests. You're being tested by the universe, by God, by your angels or by your divine. You are being tested. The divine wants to know you have been breaking away from these cycles. Yes, you have accepted this new path. But you still recognize that are you strong enough not to be able to fall into those patterns again? So if, you, if you've been a person, for example, who has been into drug abuse or drug addicts or things like that, you're going to see a lot of these junkies coming from, coming out of nowhere. Oh, can you, do you want to you come around and smoke a joint with me? You know what I mean? Sometimes they're coming around with this heroine and this and this, and they're testing you to go back there and smoke with them or sometimes join them in the, in, the, in the drug misuse. That is when you know that you're coming to the end. You are at the verge of breaking out of a cycle. So sometimes... This thing has, very, has been very deep in your, in your subconscious. It has been like sunk in very deep in your subconscious and it has been happening on autoplay. But you see now you're breaking out of it and sometimes the subconscious is remembering that this has been something that has been a part of you. So it's bringing in, bringing in these events now, real events into your life, to test you and to show you, do you recognize these things that have been a part of you recently? And if you're saying that you're breaking out of them, are you standing by your word? So that is the secret. You know what I mean? So sometimes you'll be tested, you'll be tested, you'll be tempted. You may decide sometime, okay, let's let us go out for a, for a beer or two or things like that. And then sometime when you go out for that event, that particular thing that you're trying to break away. Or for example, you may go on a date with a narcissist, for example. And you're going to discover that that person is a narcissist. The question, the next question will be. Do you acknowledge that this has been the people? These are these are these have been the people that that have been a part of a part of the problem previously from day one. And if you can recognize that, that is when you're able to now unplug immediately. So this is the moment whereby you've come to that acceptance that they, yes, they, you will see them. They will come in, they will tempt you, you know, they will persuade you. You may even sometimes go go ahead with them and do those kind of things that you you are trying to run away from. But you're going to recognize that you've already been there and you're not going back. So that is when you're actually going to break out and immediately jump out of it. So the other sign that you are at the verge of breaking out of a cycle is simply when there is people that have been a part of you recently, they're starting to show up in your life. 
So, for example, let me see, let me give you an example, a clear example. You have been dating, for example, narcissists back in the days, back in the years. Even sometimes there are some women you have tried to date before. Could be friends, could be relatives uh, you have engaged many years ago. When you're working on yourself, these people, they can feel this frequency. They can feel that your energy is changing. Because remember, guys, every time you work, every time you work on yourself and you do the inner work, your energy, your energy starts to transform. So you start to become this version of yourself that is very much related to your higher self. You know what I mean? So what is happening is that now, a lot of people will break away from you when you're doing the inner work. So a lot of people that you used to know, people who used to be a part of you, they will break away from you for a moment. But there's going to come a time when those individuals, they're going to start showing up. It could even sometimes take a couple of years, three years, maybe even sometime four years. And they're coming out of the closet. Oh, you know what, how are you doing this and this and this? Oh, I remember last time you sent me a message three years ago, two years ago. You're going to see people, ladies and gentlemen. All friends, all family members, you've not, talk, you've not talked with them in years. They're starting to show up in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, when that event is happening, you're supposed to know that actually you're at the verge of a breakthrough. So you have done the inner work so much. You've been done raised your vibration so high. And now these people that used to desert you back in the days, the, the, the people that you used to know, the people that you used to look up to, think that were ahead of you, that didn't even want anything to do with you, all of a sudden now they're starting to, they're starting to feel your vibration. And they're appearing out of nowhere, out of the blue. Ladies and gentlemen, you're just in the bus, you're in the truck, you're in the shopping mall, you're in the whatever. You run into these individuals. The individuals that you have not seen for three years. Even sometimes you can see guys that are popping up in your life. You have not seen them for 10 years ago. And all of a sudden, they are so all over the place, you know. All of a sudden, they want to be with you. Oh, can we, you know, maybe go for coffee? Yeah, you know, they could be your friends. It doesn't always mean that it, it has got to necessarily be relationship partners. They could be just simple people like your friends. All friends that you used to know, you know what I mean? You have not talked to these guys for six years. Those guys are going to show up. And all of a sudden, they are actually interested in you. You have got to know, ladies and gentlemen, at that point forward, you are at the verge of a breakthrough. You are ending a cycle, and now... You're starting, to, you're starting to enter this new energy, or you have entered this new energy whereby you're going to start attract, attract a lot of beautiful things. So that is when a lot of these individuals now, they start to show up in your life. You know, They want to be a part of you. All of a sudden, they ignored you. They abandoned you at some point. Now they want to be a part of you. They, are, can, they can feel your energy, and they can feel your vibration because you have done a lot of work in yourself whereby now your vibration is at a high. So a lot of individuals who are around you, they can feel this frequency. Even the people that you used to know many years ago, 10 years ago, the moment they are scrolling through their phone and they come across your name, that thing is going to hit them like a brick. And they are going to be tempted to call you. Oh, you know, I'm the guy you used to talk with many years ago, five years ago, four years ago. They are going to start showing up in your life. That is when it's one of the biggest signs and even the main aim of this video that you have got to know that actually you are at the verge of breaking out of an old cycle. So there's new things are coming in. New cycles are coming in, but at the same time, these old things and old people used to know, they don't want to let you go. So they are coming in, okay, sometimes to drag you and sometimes even put you back where you've been. You know what I mean? So when you see a lot of these things happening, events, whereby people are showing up all of a sudden in front of you, all of a sudden they want to reconnect with you, you know, they, you guys haven't they, to talk, we talked in a while or sometime before. You try to date a particular woman or you try to go on a date with a particular guy and they said no in that time and they, were, they had nothing to do with you. And all of a sudden now they're interested in you. That is the biggest sign right there. That you are, the, you are at the verge of breaking out a very difficult cycle and you're very close actually to a breakthrough. So I would like to know which of these has happened to you, ladies and gentlemen. And you always know that I love and appreciate your support. You can always book a session with me if you want to, ladies and gentlemen. Everything you need, you'll find that in the description section below. And until then... It's been a blessing to have everyone on board. Desmond signing out. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Much love and blessings. Peace.